In this video, we're going to talk about how to use VLOOKUP to extract data from an Excel spreadsheet. Now, imagine if you're a business owner and you have more than 5,000 customers in your database. Let's say if you need to look up a customer's information, you don't want to scroll down to row 2,481 to look up the information of a particular customer. You want to find a fast and efficient way to pull that information from that database. And using Excel, you could design a way to do that using the VLOOKUP function. And so we're going to focus on that function in this video. So let's type in the fields that we have in this spreadsheet. Customer ID, first name, last name, phone number, and email. So I want to create a spreadsheet where when I type in the customer's ID, it's going to tell me the person's name, their first and last name, their phone number, and their email, and whatever other additional information I wish to add. This will do that as well. So what we need to do is highlight the cell to the right of the first name section. And then type in equal VLOOKUP parentheses. Now I'm going to select cell G14 because in G14, that's where I'm going to put in the customer ID. And what Excel is going to do is it's going to look at the first column for that customer ID and then return to me a value that's in the same row, but that's in a different column, either column two, three, four, five. So G15 is where we're going to look up the customer's ID. That's where we're going to type it in. Next, I'm going to press comma. And so now what I need to do is highlight the table array that contains my data. Once that is done, press comma. Now, I need to choose the column index number. So since this is for the first name, the first name corresponds to column two. So I'm just going to press two and then comma. Now I have two options. I can type in true, which will give me an approximate match, or I can type in false, which will give me an exact match. I want an exact match. So I'm going to type in false close parentheses. Now, if I type in a custom ID, let's say the first one, 10125, it's going to give me the information in column two, which is the first name of the customer, in this case, Sarah. Now, I'm going to write the formulas for the other fields. So for the last name, I'm going to type in equal VLOOKUP. Now, my lookup value will still be in cell G15. The table array will be the same. Once you select it, press comma. And then the column index number. So I want to pull out the last name from the spreadsheet. So that's in column three. So we're going to type in three. And then we're going to type in false again. So now it gave me the last name of the customer with this ID, which is Rodriguez. So now let's do the same thing for the phone number equals VLOOKUP. We're going to highlight G15 again, where we put in the customer's ID, select the same table array, press comma. Now for the phone number, that's the information found in column four. And then false again. And then we'll repeat that. Now, the only thing that's going to change here is just the column number. Everything else is going to be the same. So for the email, we'll need to choose column number five. So now let's choose the next customer ID. If I type in 10326, it gives me Joe's information. I can see his first name, his last name, his phone number, and his email. Let's see if we can pull up Michael. 
So Michael's customer ID is 10367. And we can see his first name, last name comes up, his phone number, and his email. Let's try Susan. So 10645. All of her information shows up. And then we'll try one more. Christine. So that's how you can use a VLOOKUP to extract data from a spreadsheet. So it doesn't matter how many columns of information you have. You can get all the information from those columns simply by typing in the customer's ID. So hopefully this video has been educational for you. But that's how you can use VLOOKUP to pull data from a spreadsheet.